Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a collection overview of one of the most popular women's perfumes. This is from the House of Chanel and the collection is Coco Mademoiselle. So disclaimer, I have struggled with this perfume over the years. I have the bottle here, here's the original one. Uh, but I still wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on the collection that I have here. And then at the very end of the video, I'll be ranking them from my least favorite to my most favorite version of Coco Mademoiselle. So let's just jump right into this one. Here we have the original, it's an Eau de Parfum version. And this one has some notes of orange, bergamot, orange blossom, there's rose, jasmine, patchouli, musk, vanilla, tonka bean. And I enjoy the opening of this one. It is bright, citrusy, sparkling, fresh. Um, it has this nice clean soapiness to it. And also there's this sourness to it. So I'm thinking of grapefruit or sour grapefruit mixed in with sweet citruses. So although I do like the opening of the original Coco Mademoiselle, the dry down of it is where I have issues with it. And I think this is basically a chemistry problem, probably. On my skin, the dry down does get kind of metallic and the patchouli comes out more, the muskiness comes out more. It's still a clean and crisp scent and also sweet, but there is this character of, of it that I, I just don't like, <laughs> or at least it just doesn't work well for me. There's this metallic metal kind of feeling or smell to it that for me is, is challenging. <laughs> So those are my thoughts on the first original Coco Mademoiselle. So the next one that was released after the original is the EDT version. So I just have a little travel size of it here. It's very cute. It's nice for, you know, just travel or throwing in your bag. Uh, this one was released in 2002. And let me just spray it on here just to get the top notes. So this one does share a lot of the same notes as the original, but they have added the note of lychee in here. And in general, I do like the note of lychee. It's a nice, a juicy, watery, tropical fruit. And so this one for me is more citrusy than the original in the opening. It's also more fruity. It has a more sparkling feeling to it even though the original was very nice and sparkling, this one is even more so and more intensely bright. So it is quite strong when you first spray it on, but after some time, it does really soften up and it starts to smell like a softer, subtle, less soapy and lighter version of the original. So in this version, the Eau de Toilette, I also smell less patchouli, where in the original it was very noticeable. But in here, it, they have toned that one down, that note down. Um, it is still slightly metallic, but not in a way that for me is bothersome. So yeah, this is a really nice, tangy, more bright version of the original. So that's the Eau de Toilette version. So in 2018, many, many years later, they came out with an intense version. So I just have a little sample of it here. And this one also has similar notes to the original, but they have added more fruity notes. They didn't say which kinds of fruits and also labdanum in the dry down. So, or in the base notes, sorry. So with the intense version, the bottle looks the same. It just says Eau de Parfum Intense on the bottom there. This version for me hmm, was the most challenging, I think. So in this version, the patchouli in the opening is dominant. This patchouli is very earthy, very musky. It does remind me of the original EDP version. However, this one is less citrusy. It's less sharp. 
Um, it also reminds me of the patchouli in Coromandel. The patchouli does feel a bit dirty. <laughs> so after a while in the mid, the patchouli does calm down a lot and this one becomes more soft and it gets more floral and more musky. And basically the dry down of the intense version is my absolute favorite part of the scent and actually of this entire collection. The dry down is everything for me. So what does the dry down smell like? It's a powdery, vanilla, creamy, sweet scent. Again, it reminds me of the dry down of Coromandel, which is amazing. Um, I kind of wish that this perfume was just the dry down and it was just linear. <laughs> If that was the case, this would be one of my most favorite perfumes. But because the opening is so very harsh, that opening is challenging, but the dry down is one of the best dry downs I've ever smelled in any perfume. So those are my thoughts on the Intense version, EDP Intense. And last but not least, in 2020, they came out with a version that's called Low Privé. Eau Pour La Nuit Night Fragrance. And this one was intended to be a nighttime perfume. So let me just see, I'm getting mixed up here. Okay, <laughs> so with the nighttime version, the notes listed are orange, rose, jasmine, and white musk. This one opens kind of similar to the opening of the original uh, Coco Mademoiselle. So it has this nice citrusy bright opening, but it's not as sharp. This one has a more friendly, soft and subtle feeling to it. It's clean, it's fresh. You get some sweet orange notes in here. And also with the low Privé version, I smell some peach and peach is not listed in the notes here at all. But for me, it has like this nice peachy fruitiness to it. So with the dry down of the low Privé, and by the way, I can just show you quickly what the bottle looks like there. The same thing, it just says low Privé on the bottom there. This scent, turns very smooth and this one in this one the musk is now prominent the musk in here is so soft it makes me think of soft fluffy pillows it makes me feel relaxed and calm it is light it's warm it's clean it's fresh and i think it's perfect for bedtime um, the longevity of the low privé version is isn't very good. I think it's a quite light scent, but I think if you're going to be wearing something for nighttime, uh, I think most people would prefer something more soft and something that doesn't really project and last all night. Because uh, if that was the case, then it might keep someone up at night. At least it would for me. So this one is just a gorgeous, gorgeous um, musk that I really, really enjoy. And that's what I think of the low Privé version. So now let's rank these ones from my least favorite to my most favorite. My least favorite Coco Mademoiselle is, <laughs> I think it's obvious, the original one. I think with that metallic dry down just doesn't do anything for me. Um, there's also this muskiness in the dry down that is a little bit challenging. Um, it is a classy and elegant perfume, uh, but for me, uh, it just didn't really work that well. So in number three spot, I would go for the intense version. The intense version is really nice in the dry down, as I said before, but that opening, that overwhelming patchouli is just so, so intense and too intense for me personally. Although it does get softer in the dry down and then it has that beautiful dry down of a creamy, powdery vanilla. Um, I just can't get over how uh, overwhelming that opening is. 
Now in number two spot, my second favorite Coco Mademoiselle version is the Low Privé version. It's a nice, smooth, light and fresh bedtime scent. You can of course wear it for any occasion. Um, with the musky notes being prominent in the dry down, I just really like how soft and subtle and relaxing uh, that feeling that it gives. There's no sharpness, um, it's easy to wear, there's no metallic-y feeling. It doesn't last very long, but as a bedtime scent, I think that would be just perfect. And finally, my number one favorite version of Coco Mademoiselle, we have the EDT version right here. Brighter, fresher, sweeter, fruitier version than the EDP. It does have a little bit of that metallic feeling in the dry down, but it's actually not a big deal at all. It doesn't bother me. That was my collection overview of Coco Mademoiselle. If you guys want to share your thoughts on these ones, please let me know in the comments which is your favorite, which is your least favorite. I would love to hear about that. Thank you so, so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.